Donna Blanchard, and this is your Think Tech Daily News for Wednesday, June 3rd, 2015. Speaking about the Oriental Star, the cruise ship that capsized China on Monday, the Ministry of Transportation spokesman Zhu Chengguang told a news conference today that we will use all means available and utmost efforts to complete the search and rescue work. As long as there is a ray of hope, we won't give up searching. Only 14 people among the 456 aboard have been found alive. The search area has expanded to more than 100 miles downstream of the disaster, and more than 130 boats have been deployed, with more than 200 divers involved in the search and rescue efforts. The Maritime Bureau had sent a warning to all vessels to expect heavy rain and thunderstorms, and at least two large vessels stopped their upstream journeys, but the Oriental Star sailed on. The ship's captain and chief engineer have been detained, but the authorities have said nothing about whether they were warned of weather conditions, how they escaped the ship, and whether they radioed for help or ordered passengers to evacuate. The Chinese have allowed reporters to visit the capsized ship today, but only a handful of them. The time of transparency was brief and very limited. Hotels have been told not to accept journalists unless they have registered at a media center run by local propaganda officials, and police have blocked journalists' access to local hospitals. On Monday night, an emergency summit meeting was called in Berlin. All of the key European leaders were invited except those invited were, in fact, Greece's creditors. The bailout program for Greece ends on the 30th of June. Greece's creditors, the International Monetary Fund, the European Central Bank, and the European Commission, refused to release the final installment of bailout funds, 7.2 billion euros, about $8 billion, without an agreement from Athens on budget cuts and economic changes. The Greek government has warned that it could run out of money this month and fail to make loan payments to creditors if they do not receive that final installment. Plunging into default may excuse Greece from the euro. Greece's prime minister, Alexis Tsipras, told reporters that his government has forwarded a list of, quote, realistic reforms to the creditors. Julian Rapold, a program officer at the German Council on Foreign Relations, said, this is one of the very last attempts to reconcile between sides and reach an agreement I think European leaders have pretty much lost their patience. The Boko Haram, which has been responsible for capturing and raping women specifically to create a new generation of Islamist militants in Nigeria, partnered with ISIS and has intensified attacks in the country's northeast, killing scores in a series of assaults and suicide bombings this week, is now the subject of a report by Amnesty International released today. That report says that in the course of Nigeria's war against the Boko Haram, at least 7,000 people have died in government detention because of brutal conditions. An additional 1,200 have been extrajudiciously executed by Nigerian security forces, and at least 20,000 have been arbitrarily arrested. Now that report goes on to say that torture, mass shooting, starvation, and the use of deadly fumigation chemicals in overcrowded cells have been routinely employed by the Nigerian military to lethal effect. The new president of Nigeria, Mohamed Bahari, who once ran the nation as a military ruler before being ousted after a year and a half, said in his inauguration speech that we shall overhaul the rules of engagement to avoid human rights violations in operations. We shall improve operational and legal mechanisms so that disciplinary steps are taken against proven human rights violations by armed forces. Air pollution is a huge problem in China and more than 50% of the men there smoke and they make up a third of the world's smokers. This week, for the third time, they have banned smoking in enclosed public places and near schools and hospitals. This time, they've placed a price on being caught up to 200 renminbi, or about $32. Hey, quitting altogether would be optimal, but it isn't easy. May I suggest the patch and an occasional nicotine lozenge when the urge becomes un unbearable? It worked for me. Ahui ho, everyone. Donna Blanchard, Think Tech Daily News.